my name's Jesse and today we are out in the North Main Woods and we're going to be doing something that everyone always requests on this channel. We are heading out bird hunting right now um, with my friend Mike right here. We're going to drive down this road uh, until we get to a couple spots that I've seen some birds in and then we're going to get out and walk and hopefully get a few. I mean I would be happy just getting a couple birds today and we'll do a catch and cook. Maybe even today, Mike's got a cool SUV camper set up in here that I can show you guys later. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Look at a pumpkin. <laughs> the orange glow is just the worst thing for a camera. It looks terrible. <laughs> it's just like everything's dark and then you're just fluorescing. Wait, 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 wait. That's the road on the right. It's a nice area. It's got bulldoze banks, all kinds of clover. And now that everything's dying in the woods, I think we're gonna have a much better chance of them being in the road because you can see everything covered out there. But if they are, like that bird we got last night, if they're just eating beech nuts, we're definitely gonna have to walk. There's a lot of beech around here anyway. Find a skitter trail or something. Yeah, I know there's one old road that we can walk. Oh, oh. Good eye, man. All right, nice bird, brown phase too. People call him red phase, but I think it's, it's brown. Uh, it's a, just a different phenotype between the two. You know, because the, the classic ones are mostly gray, but every now and then you get one like this. You can see that, they call it a red phase, I guess. Really and you can tell it's a young one because you see these two in the middle. They're not barred like the others. So this is a younger bird. Bright and early and we've seen two birds already just driving to our spot. And nice to get one in the bag, especially after having such a slow season. It's just, we've had a late start, but now with the leaves dropping in the woods like that, you can see further in and have a chance to see birds that are not necessarily sitting right on the road. So. Anyway, we're at the prime time in the morning, so I'm gonna put this camera away and try to get one more for lunch here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take it, take it. Oh, look at the clutch. They went far. They're all through there, dude. Have at it. Oh, there's one. Get ready, man. Load up. There's another one. There's another one. I'm going to get my shotgun. Holy, there's a lot. Got one. There we go, we finally hit a bunch of birds. Got this one. Nice gray tail, look at that.
There are so many birds here. Yep, a big one. That's a nice bird right there. Well, that was a good flock of birds. That's actually the only flock I've seen this year and there had to be about 20-ish birds in it. It was insane. Walking through the woods, you could hardly see, but you could hear them flushing everywhere. Do you see any more back there? No, yeah, I think we uh, gave them all a good scare. That was a lot of birds. Oh, geez, I was thinking 20, there's so many. made it to a spot we're gonna walk. We're just gonna go down this road. So far we've been doing pretty well. I mean, we just started, we've got five birds already and we figured we need to walk a road before we end up limiting out. So I think we should see at least a couple birds down here. We'll see what we find, but I think we're gonna be limited out before noon at this rate. Domino. been a pretty short walk and we've already got a bird so I think by the time we finish this walk we're gonna be limited out and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna cook a few of these up and do a catch and cook today so pretty exciting it's been a long time about a year since I've done a catch and cook on a roughed grouse so they're such a delicious bird Tough to spot. Yeah, that was a tough spot. He was right here on this log. I just caught a perfect window of him. It took me a while to refine that window. I guess that's it for me. See if we can get one more and we'll make you a lunch somewhere. We should pick a cool spot to go. We're gonna get another one at this rate. All right, that's it for me. Uh, that was the limit in Maine, at least where we're from, is four birds, so that's it uh, as far as my limit goes. Still gonna go get Mike one, and then we're also gonna be cooking some of these up for a catch and cook. You ready? Get one more? The whole time I was just thinking about laying on the board. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, you hot? Are you cold or what? I was just getting it warmed up. Oh, it's warm. So we made it to where we're gonna do the catch and cook today and we're gonna clean a few up. How many do you wanna eat each? You want three birds? Three total, I think. Uh, we're gonna make some bacon, have some grouse. I don't think we have anything else, but maybe make a sandwich, that's about it. But.
That is today's catch and cook. Obviously, it's not the most fancy thing. It is a bacon and partridge sandwich. We didn't really plan this meal through. And we just kind of came out hoping to get a couple grouse. Now, if you want to help support the channel, you can go check out my website. It's going to be linked down below. I've got some hats and other merchandise. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next adventure. So have a good night.